All right, I got the Mad Cats Sega controller over here. What's happening is every time I press the C button, it's pressing, it's going, it's pressing start. So what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna put some flux. I put some flux on the pins already. I'm gonna take a um, heat gun. And I'm gonna heat up this part, and hopefully that will. Um, Reestablish a better connection, a better connection with the board. I looked online; they said something about the C button is connected somehow with the uh, start button, and there's a ground that gets switched in between that tells the game, "Hey, this person is pressing the C button, so press, you know, C." And if it doesn't detect the ground, it'll press uh, start. I'm going to leave these out. This is a turbo button, so I've got the little sliders right here. So this heat gun, it should be warmed up now. Better bring my um, bring my mask off the uh, my desk right there. Thanks. No, the other mask, baby. The red one should be a red one up there. I'm also going to apply some flux to to these pins. I'm not exactly sure what these do. I'm going to assume that these are for the uh, turbo. Yeah, these, so these for the turbo, for the sliders. I'm going to do all, I already cleaned it with alcohol. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to go to each individual pin and I'm going to re-solder it, add some more solder to it because the, it could be that the solder is bad. So if I mix in some good solder with it, hopefully that will fix it.
So my soldering gun should be nice and hot. Brandon, come here. Go, go run, go to the sink over there. I'll run a little bit of water on this. Here, just put some water on this sponge for me. Let's see if this is ready. Yeah, it's ready. I can actually turn it down. So. Thank you. Got my little helper. You can tell the difference with the solder too. Old solder is kind of grayish. I'm just gonna hit these also while I'm at it. Just a little bit. Clean my soldering tip off. Turn this off. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna grab some alcohol wipes. Clean this board off again. You can use regular alcohol with some uh, Q-tips. But I can't find my alcohol right now, so I'm just going to use this. I'm going to clean all the flux off the board. Contact cleaner will also work if you got that. Mine's in the garage. I don't feel like going all the way out there getting it. I have already cleaned these contacts. I, I seen a, a lot of people like to put foil on those, uh, tape foil. I don't have any, so, but I don't think that was my issue anyway. I don't think my issue was that. But I don't have any uh, tape foil, so I can't. So I'm gonna get those snug in there. I'm not gonna put the sliders for the um, turbo in until after I test it. So let's lay that down. That's gonna go off. Let me clean the back of this board off to look like some flux leaked in. All right. Let me 
make sure everything is seated. That's going to go like right there. Line that up. You should hear everything click. Make sure the buttons is blown down. So I'm gonna hold this closed. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to go over there, I'm going to plug it into the Genesis, the Model 1, my Model 2 is upstairs, and I'm going to test it now. After I confirm that the buttons and stuff are all good and working, then I'm going to take it apart again, put the slider pins back in for the turbo and test those, and then slap the screws back in there. So this video is going to break up.